is the narcissist happy without you? The narcissist will use their new source to get to you, to make you angry or upset. Everything they do is based on their image. But this new person is not as hot or as sophisticated as they want you to think. They're not really about anything. So when they flaunt this new person and show you these images, it just makes you think that they're wasting their time by showing you that because it's not affecting you. It's not making you feel bad. But they're doing it because they're trying to get a reaction out of you. They want you to think that they're happy without you. But they're manipulating your opinion to suit their own agenda. They know how to coordinate the elements of a situation to produce the desired effect. But everything you see from them is an orchestration. It seems good, but it's not real. It's just designed to make you react. But it always revolves around their image. It always revolves around these ideas and impressions that they want you to have of them or of someone else. It's never about anything else. Because nothing else matters to them. All they care about is things that exist on the surface. Things that don't have any deeper purpose or meaning. It's just all about how they want you to see them. And sometimes they can't even see how they're making themselves look. They can't even see that they're embarrassing themselves. That they're setting themselves up to be humiliated. Because everything they're bragging and boasting about isn't even exciting or special. It's not even worth the effort of them talking about it. It's pretty ordinary, so they end up looking like a fool. But because they do a lot of these things out of desperation. They're in such a bad situation that they will do anything to change it. They will be careless of danger. They will act reckless. They will take extreme and undesirable actions as a solution to their problems that cannot be resolved by ordinary means. Because they don't know what else to do. They don't know how else to deal with it. But they will put it out there to try to get you to react to it. They will do it to try to make you jealous. But when you see it, you don't react and it makes them feel stupid. But you've got to be aggressive and assertive if you want to flaunt something in someone's face and if you want to make them jealous. Or if you want to make them feel bad. You've got to come real strong to do that. You can't come with bullshit. You can't come with nonsense. You can't come with things that are uninspiring and dull and then expect that to make someone weak and ineffective. But whoever they're with now doesn't know who they really are. It's a distraction. It's just something they're using for the time being. It's not something they're really serious about. They're just using it until some other arrangement is made. Because really, they ain't about shit. They're just using it to affect you. That's why they put it out there. But there's a lot of things that you won't see. There's a lot of things that they don't want you to know about. Because that would make them look bad. And they want to look good. So that they can have that moment of feeling like they've won. Of feeling like they're better than you. They have their little bag of tricks. But if you look closely, you will see that it's all a facade. They're smiling and laughing even when they don't really feel like it. They're just doing it to affect you. 
to make you feel like they're happy without you. Which is why they will brag and boast and try to flaunt things in your face. But I promise you. If you could be a fly on that wall. If you could see what is really going on in that situation. You would be laughing about it. You would be laughing about it. Because it is a joke. But they will use it to try to get to you. Especially if they see that you're not worried about them. They have to do something. But most of the time they're making the wrong decisions anyway. Because they have very poor judgement. And to see that, you only have to look back at all of the things they messed up for you. So it's only a matter of time until they mess up whatever they've got going on now. They're going to mess that up pretty quick. But they know how to create an illusion. And make you share their fantasy. They plant a mental image in your mind. And you start chasing it because you believe that it's real. While well, they're off to the side. Looking like a homeless person. But they don't want you to know that. Because then you'd be laughing at them. So don't fall for that. You need to be on to their bullshit. And they will be mad. Because then they can't hide. They want you to think they're happy without you. So that you will feel like you've lost something. Like you should have done what they wanted you to do. Because they got a good life now. But you know that's not the truth. It's just a fantasy that they're trying to create for you. To trick you into feeling like you've lost something. So that they can feel like they're better than you. While you think that they've moved on and they're happy without you. But it's all fake. They will tell you everything's just fine and dandy. But they're never happy with anything. They're always looking at what other people have. So they don't even have the time to think about their own happiness. They're never happy. They're always miserable. Because they're always making mistakes. They're always making the wrong decisions. They're always making verbal commitments, promises and threats that they can't deliver on. Their actions never match their words. They can talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk. They can never follow up their words with actions. Because really, they ain't about nothing. They just want you to believe that they're about something. So that they can get their two second high. So that they can feel better about themselves in that moment. Even if it's all fake. Even if it's all a lie. They don't care. They'd rather settle for fake happiness than having to accept that they're miserable. But no matter what they do or have. They always end up in a bad situation. They always find a way to mess it up. Just like they messed up things with you. They had the perfect situation with you. Which is why they stayed with you for some time. But like with everything else in their lives, they found a way to screw it up yet again. No matter what they have, they will always destroy it in the end. It never lasts long with them because they take it for granted. They don't appreciate anything you do for them. So they don't take the necessary steps to protect and maintain it. They allow things to fall apart. 
because they have this magical thinking. They assume that everything will stay the same. They assume that you will always be there. Even if they're not taking care of you. Even if they're not giving you the treatment that you deserve. So you may think that they've moved on and they're happy without you. But it's really not like that at all. They will be jealous of you being with someone else. Even after they've left you. Because they're out of their minds. And yet you may be feeling like you've lost something. When the only thing you've lost is a problem. You've lost something that is harmful to you. Something that causes difficulties to you. Something that is hard to deal with. You didn't lose something that was helping you or benefiting you in any way. The only thing you lost is a problem. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.